So now that we all um, know how to put our instrument together, I am going to show you how to put it away. With the clarinet, this is actually one of the few instruments where you need special directions on how to put it away because there are lots of important things. Um, so first you need to take the bell off, that's easy. Slide that right off. Now as you're taking apart the two joints, you want to press down the bridge key just like you did when you were putting it together. So you hold your fingers here and just gently slide the piece apart so that you're not crashing that um, bridge key. And again, don't turn it all the way around, just back and forth, back and forth. You want to place these pieces back in the case, just like a puzzle. They fit back in there a certain way. You want to have them um, find the way that the keys fit into the puzzle. So you take this piece off, the upper joint. Now, I always like to take the reed off before I take these apart because the barrel gives me a really nice place to hold this. So I'll loosen the screws. And remember, the reed is super breakable at the top, so you don't want to touch the top. I usually just push it up with my thumb like that. And now I can hold it from the sides and I never had to touch the top of the reed. Here's another tricky thing, getting the reed back into the case. These cases can be a little tricky. So you want to very carefully slide it in. Don't chip the top. It does go in with the thin side first. And don't push it in too far. Just like that so you can still grip it like that and pull it out. Um, so that your reed can go back like that. You never want to store the instrument with the reed on it. Um, it doesn't allow the reed to dry properly. Maybe the reed can dry, it'll look all wavy, and then it won't, um, it'll be harder to blow. And then also, you want your instrument to be able to dry out inside of here, and you need to be able to clean this part. And if you are always just leaving the reed on there, it's going to get really yucky. There's going to be mold and some lots of yucky things that start to grow inside of there. We don't want that on our instrument. So always store the reed in its case. Um, and next week, I'm going to show you how to clean it. I'm not going to do that today. It will be okay not cleaning it just for one week, especially because your practice sessions are going Time to go home, especially because your practice sessions are going to be short this week. But next week, we'll learn how to clean it. So just slide these two pieces apart, put the barrel back into the case, take the ligature, slide the ligature back on, and then store it always with the mouthpiece cap on. Believe it or not, this tippity top of the clarinet right here is one of the most delicate and breakable parts. So if that like hits on something inside of the case and that gets a teeny chip, it's going to make it really hard to make a sound. So just slide that back on and store it in the case just like that. So like a little Darth Vader um, piece there. Okay, see you next week.